All right, uh, Green Sammy, this is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Africa for the Africans uh, tour conference call. And today's date is February 19th, 2023. So, family, we start our 17th uh, year uh, uh, with our Africa tours, and uh, we are getting ready and set for Senegal and the Gambia, and that's uh, March uh, 30th to uh, April 9th. And we're going to go through some of that details on our website, africaforafricans.org. But just um, want to let everyone know that all the tour information and all the tour setups that we do is um, based on this uh, our documentation. And I do my best to post updates, especially as they come closer to uh, the tour in the uh, WhatsApp page. And everything that we're going to you know, usually post or go over is all the same thing that uh, we have on our website. And all full tour details, conference call recordings are always updated on our site, on our YouTube. Uh, so those are all the common uh, links and information we have and all those things can be viewed, viewed through our website. So what I wanna do is just uh, start um, by either going to the website or the uh, newsletter and then just uh, continue from there. All right, so we are on our website, Africa for the Africans.org. And uh, once you scroll down past the uh, slideshow and the music, uh, which we have on mute, go to the main page, and that's all of our tour details. Likewise, on the uh, main menu. So just gonna click on the link of our tour interest and then go to the details. Uh, what I wanna do is just go to a quick uh, review of uh, the Senegal and Gambia information. All right, so once we click on the link, uh, last time we went through the overview and uh, overview slash itinerary. And what I'd like to go over is um, the tour preparation list. And this one is titled Departure Reminder List. So for those who are looking to travel with us and you just need to just kind of just look at a list of things to be clear on, to be prepared beyond just you know, the, the tour information, which is one of those things that we have gone over. And then the, everyone should have their visa by now, but if not, the visa process is uh, short and quick. Uh, once I send you the email for the you know, for the Gambia visa, uh, you're basically just gonna use the uh, sample visa application, print out a blank application, and then fill out a blank application. <clears throat> You'll need a once passport style photo. It's a two hundred dollar uh, money order that you can just get payable to the embassy of uh, the Gambia, or you can get the uh, certified uh, check. Uh, then, then you need to put your actual passport in the package. Uh, so those are literally the things that you need, a uh, passport style photo, your, pa uh, your, your passport itself, and uh, one application and the, um, the uh, money order or certified check for $200. And then you're gonna get a, a prepaid return envelope uh, with your return address. That way when they finish with your package, they can put it in there. So all of those things you're gonna put in your postal package and send it off to the embassy of Ghana, excuse me, the embassy of uh, Gambia. And that makes it a nice little smooth process. So it's not much to, to go into detail. In. However, the Ghana visa process, uh, once I finish going to uh, Senegal and Gambia, I'm gonna just go to that, um, at least the beginning of it. Uh, but that information was also sent to those who are traveling to Ghana with us. So that's how we do visa process uh, for uh, these two uh, tours. All right, the uh, departure reminder list. And this is a nice uh, list of uh, 30 points. And so this is gonna just review some of the main important things. 
Uh, so the main thing you talk about one, I'll just go through them in a quick summary and just uh, go through it. Um, and you can just take your time, print it out and uh, read through it uh, if you haven't already. But anyone that's traveling with us for all of these tours, the best thing I would say up front is to just review all of these uh, tour files. And that way you're clear on it. It kind of does cover 100% of all the things you need to know. Uh, so that's what we focus on, tour preparation. So the first, uh, the first one uh, talks about this, where all of the uh, tour information is. So uh, it's basically saying, go to the main menu of our website and mm -hmm. click on uh, the Senegal and Gambia Roots Tour, uh, April, 2023. Right. And then basically, once you click on it, you'll see the full tour details, overview, itinerary, general terms, what to pack, uh, what to get ready for. So that's that information. Uh, number two uh, talks about gratuities that we'll use uh, to collect, and which is $100, and that covers all of your tipping throughout the uh, duration. Uh, so number two breaks down all of the things uh, which it covers from all of the staff, people, baggage, moving around, the people are serving us, and so on. Number three, when you visit, uh, do not ro come romanticize about uh, Senegal and Gambia. And just letting everyone know that you know uh, it's a nice, uh, wonderful country, uh, but uh, we have things set on itinerary for you just to enjoy yourself. Uh, so uh, we do our best with movements and things like that, uh, traffic and certain things, you know, you, you're limited on what you can control. We do our best to just uh, keep on time, keep on schedule, uh, but just want everyone to just, uh, just be in a relaxed mode and just enjoy themselves and any issues or stress, uh, we'll handle it. Us and our staff uh, will handle things for you to make sure you're good. So come on an open mind, open energy, and then knowing that you're dealing with a developing country. So some parts of the country you're gonna see it looks well developed, some part uh, not so much, but uh, uh, where, where, where we're taking you around is uh, usually the nice energy of the country because we just you know, strictly just do our tourism. And number four, uh, so everyone on this uh, tour, uh, this, uh, just remind everyone, just make sure you log into delta.com and just check your routes, check your name, um, you know, move around seats if you need, uh, add your seats, add any special meals, uh, any special services, and uh, just make sure that uh, you're just clear on those full sequence. Um, once you once your ticket has been sent to you, it's uh, your ownership, and it's up to you to be clear on it. We do our best to make sure all the routes are good, all names, all information that's sent over is good. But uh, you're the final confirmation, and something is not correct. You let me know that I'll talk to our people at Delta Airlines, and uh, we can just fix it and get it worked out. Everything is always easy to get done. Uh, before you start traveling. Uh, and at the same time too, once you get to the ticket counter and you're checking in if you need to fix something or if you need to see if they can give you a better route coming back uh, as far as your return flight with, with either longer or shorter layover, then you can also just talk about that also. Uh, so just uh, letting everyone know that, uh, make sure you check, that, check out those details in full clarity and also, um, if you don't have Sky Miles, you can register for Sky Miles. The flight is a long flight, so it's worth it as far as this um, and the miles add up. And sometimes uh, it, you may get a nice little domestic uh, round trip out of uh, one or two of those uh, international flights. Uh, five, uh, you know, five and six, uh, just make sure that uh, you have all of your documents uh, organized as possible. Make sure that uh, your, your visa it's uh you know it's clear it's stamped clear in your passport to make sure that expiration date is the correct expiration date things like that and make sure that you have a printout of uh your flight itinerary and uh, make sure that um you know, just you have everything in sequence and organized and make sure that you just clear on uh preparation of travel time uh so seven i uh, recommend um everyone arrive to the airport and yeah three to four hours ahead of time. Usually there's something that we push more so when it's the busy time of the year, uh, usually around November, December. But uh, likewise in general, it doesn't hurt just to get there ahead of time. And all of us are set for a long layover. 
uh, when we first get to uh, New York uh, JFK airport. So you're gonna have uh, more than enough time to just do certain things and relax and none of us have to rush. And we can just all you know, meet up uh, ahead of time and just uh, connect. You know, so that sequence is uh, set for that journey. Uh, that was a simple um, flight schedule. Uh, eight, uh, so our check bags, uh, all of our tickets are set for two check bags of 50 pounds uh, each. And then you have your carry-on bags. Uh, so let's make sure um, all your labeling, everything should say DSSS. That's the, um, the Dakar, Senegal um, airport, um, the new airport that we're flying into. So make sure that's uh, clear. So your bag with us go direct. And as a matter of fact, it's a direct flight for everyone. But even for those who are having a connection flight from wherever you are to New York, uh, just make sure your bags uh, are set to show the same code. And that means your bag is going to go through all the way. If you see a bag, if you see it say JFK, uh, that means that there's a mistake and you don't want, you know, your bags wouldn't be checked all the way. So that's something that is always advised everyone uh, in general, just to just confirm those things when you check in and um, you know, make sure everything looks uh, clear. That way you just have a stress-free time and you don't have to worry about anything. But at the same time, to any, anyone have any bag issues, you know, we'll just file a claim and you'll get your bag the next day. And uh, for the most part, or if um, you have a different flight route, they may be able to send it to where you can get it later on in the night or something uh, the next day. Uh, but those are things that can uh, flexibly, can all work out, um, you know, we're flying on Delta Airlines and that's just a nice little setup. So it's, uh, these are also routes that we've done before and it's been uh, no problem. If you need to carry three bags, uh, the additional bag is gonna cost you uh, $200 and then um, no bags allowed over 70 pounds. And I always recommend if you have this liquid, just put it in your check bags. Uh, and if it's uh, over three ounces and they catch it, they're gonna throw it in the trash. I carry on, this is something uh, simple. Um, a roll-on bag and a backpack is um, always ideal. Uh, something that you can put in the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. And that's your flexibility to work with. And so for those who are looking to purchase more, you can just bring, um, bring additional supplies or things that you want to get rid of. And then when you get to the country and you give it away, you can, you have more um, uh, space in your luggage to bring back uh, shopping. All right, 11, uh, just always recommend that uh, you bring a set of red, black, green, and gold just um, to connect uh, to ancestors on our ancestor day, and that's going to Gory Island. Uh, so uh, usually this uh, recommend us do your best to match and also uh, based on the colors of the t-shirt that we'll design, which will be designed uh, very soon. Uh, usually, more than likely that's gonna have one, one two, or th uh, three of those colors. So you can always wear the t-shirt or we could use, wear the t-shirts on that day and then wear red, black and green another day. So those are those things that we have set up. And also, all right, this one doesn't have whites. All right. All right. So some of these are preparation or uh, different. Uh, you may see the one for Ghana as additional, um, ancestral celebration so it becomes two days so we just usually just recommend to bring another set of colors which would be just all whites but in this case um, we don't have that set up for this uh, journey uh, but beyond that uh, most of what we're reading is relevant to all the other journeys that we're doing uh, it's just a sequence information that we go through on the uh, preparation it's kind of just creating things to make sure they're more standard that way they're relevant to other things that we're doing at uh, 12, uh, bring any school supplies, and those can also be the things that you want to pack in your luggage that you're going to get rid of. Uh, so anything from basic school supplies, basic clothing for children, we usually have one or two schools slash orphanages that we go to on uh, each uh, journey um, and you know, do our best to show some love in the country. Uh, 14, uh, Senegal and uh, Gambia tour March 38 group meetup. So the Atlanta part is uh, irrelevant since some of us have this different schedule. So the main part our, of our meetup is gonna be um, in uh, New York. So our flight uh, is set to leave at uh, 7.30 p.m. So our flight leave at 7.55 p.m. So we can meet at uh, 7.30 p.m. Uh, most of us will be there way before that time. So that's a nice little simple little connection and it should be this, you know, since it's going to be a later flight, uh, should be this thing should be as be 
calming down in New York. It shouldn't be as busy at the airport around that time. So that is our meetup time. We introduce each other and then we just uh, all connect and just you know, do some interviews and talk about a few things and just uh, get uh, prepared. So that's uh, the time frame uh, we are working with. All right. Uh, 14, bring any necessary uh, medical uh, supplies. It's anything you feel like you may need. Uh, 15, uh, cameras, camcorders. Just, uh, if you're looking to get a, a SIM card there and use the local phone service, you can bring, bring an unlike iPhone or unlike, unlike uh, Samsung Galaxy or just any kind of this, uh, unlock phone that you may want to use. Uh, so also just recommending you bring your electronics uh converters foreign adapters and extension cord and things like that so that is uh the reminder of all your electronics uh 16 uh, uh travel iron alarm clock plastic bags compact umbrella waterproof poncho and other convenient accessories uh so these are just things that we just recommend it's but you don't have to just buy all of these things it's a lot of things but these are just based on just traveling over the years and then just creating a preparation list to make sure that we have all the things that we need and everyone is as clear on the things that they may need. Uh, 17, uh, mosquito spray or repellent or centronella oil. Uh, uh, so if you feel like you're gonna be bothered by mosquito, just you know, make sure you bring your necessary things to you know, make sure you're free of uh, those mosquito issues. Uh, 18, uh, uh, bring calculator or you can just use your phone or, this, or, or something else to you know, do your currency exchange. So the uh, Senegal CFA franc uh, for one US dollar, that's 596 of uh, their money. And then as far as the Gambia dollar, see one US dollar equals 50.5 Gambia dollar C's. So the, you know, it may change over the period of time, little by little, but um, two years ago when we went to Senegal and Gambia, the exchange rate was about the same. Nineteen. I uh, bring as much cash as uh, you need, and also you know you can bring your visas or Mastercards, and uh, we can always get you access to a machine. Uh, but uh, that's just the basic amount I recommend. Uh, the weather, I think, the warmest we get is uh, seventy, and the um, hottest maybe ninety. This literally a range. So this uh, bring. Um, you know, we're gonna be by beaches and by you know the hotels have, have pools. So you know you'll be able to swim, get in the water. This. Um, and uh, so just bring light clothing, sandals, shorts, you know, walking shoes, sundress, tank tops, swimwear, casual slash African clothing for nightlife or any special event we may be doing, business networking, uh, welcome feral dinner. Uh, 21, um, just uh, be mindful of taking pictures around government facilities and with law enforcement. Uh, 22, um, um, Af Africa Falcons does not provide travel insurance, uh, which there's a few different companies out there. Um, I did not change this one over with, but what I have on the new list now is Alliance. And then you know, anyone can just select uh, whichever travel insurance service that uh, you know they're open to. And if it's anything that I need to do for my side, just let me know. 23 uh, toiletries, including toilet tissues, soap, Napkins, wet wipe, facial tissues, washcloth, beach towel, and laundry soap. So not saying that to bring all those things, but these are just ideas of things you can bring if you may that you may uh, need. Uh, Twenty-four people. The people in Senegal and Gambia are very friendly. However, be wary of people who just want to make quick money off you and make promises they cannot keep. Uh, you should know as much as possible about people you are planning to do business with. So it's not a journey that we're going to be. Uh, Connecting with people to do business, uh, but you're gonna meet people that you know. People are gonna talk. Uh, whether they whether they are selling your dashiki or something, and you know people just talk quick. So you can never keep up with people, but just uh, you know you can just go in one ear and ne or the next. And uh, when we're actually doing a real business networking and things like that, you can actually get a chance to connect with people. But um, yeah, outside of that, um, you know, just you know, just look out for uh, fast talkers. 25, uh, game uh, for leisure, including social gathering, deck of cards, dominoes, chess, uh, general board games. So whether we're at the resort or we're just out, um, you know, 
uh, at night time or just any other social time. You know, these are things that we could just do while you're just relaxing, whether it's in a lobby or just uh, outside by the pool. 26, uh, emergency items, flashlights, basic first aid kits, laxative, Pepto-Bismol, uh, a few different things. And these are just, again, just things in case people feel like they may need to do something for an emergency, now that way you're prepared. 27, um, please focus on enjoying yourself and accomplishing your mission. Do not get distracted by others or get caught up into complaining. This is an experience that will have its ups and downs. Uh, example, uh, the ups are the great exciting times you, you know, when you're in the country, you're settled, uh, you're having your dinner and you're just having uh, a social time or you're just out having an exciting time on a tour site. The uh, downs, are always, you know, it's always going to be times where you know, this is a quick turn from when you, you, know, you go to bed and you're up or when you literally just uh, have long routes of driving and things like that. So, um, you know, we just go with the flow. Uh, it's a part of the introduction to Senegal and the Gambia. I re recommend that you go with the flow and enjoy your time in paradise around the wonderful itinerary that we put together. We'd to enjoy the journey of a lifetime. Uh, so 28. Uh, Remember to bring any medicine that you may need. Uh, do any research on any uh, needed vaccination that you may not need. Uh, we do not have any recommended vaccination, uh, but uh, we, we, have, we have no recommendations. So you may need to talk to your doctor. Uh, I'm always telling anyone, if you're looking to travel with us, there's no uh, vaccination requirement. Uh, so when we do find information like during the COVID era, then we just you know, put, that, put that information right there in 28. Uh, so uh, for this, um, all of this should be gone because I remember closing out some of these because they weren't requirements anymore. So this is from the last uh, journey um, that wasn't removed. And I'll, and when we do the private uh, conference call uh, for uh, Senegal and Gambia group, we'll go through more and we'll go through more finalized information. And that'll be about, about three to four weeks before we travel. So uh, soon uh, I'll create one and we just introduce ourselves and just have a you know, conversation as far as whatever is updated as far as entry requirement and make sure that everybody have their visa. Uh, 29, um, when you get to uh, baggage claim, uh, just get your free card, put your bags on it, and then we're gonna all just make our way to the, the front together. And then our, our welcome team uh, will be there waiting for us. All right, 20, um, all right, so that's 29, 30. Uh, bring things that will help you uh, make uh, this moment uh, con uh, to connect into ancestral land special. So we go into um, the African Holocaust dungeon of, uh, of Gori Allen. Me, me, this person. Of uh, Gori Allen. And then we're going to go to uh, Jufri um, of Ken Kunta Kente, and then we're going to go to uh, Kunta Kente Island. So those are places if you want to just and do certain things, it's ideal at those places. Uh, so we have a wonderful, uh, nice uh, itinerary that uh, this you know, incredible roots tour uh, and you know, it, it picks up and you know, it also slows down. So those who travel with us, uh, make sure you review the itinerary. I'm gonna be connecting back with uh, us on a private um, you know, call uh, during a week. Uh, I'm going to be communicating with everyone to see you know, what day and what time is good. And we're going to go to yeah, yeah. some, more, some more things specific. Yeah. All right. So, and also anyone who wants to talk, uh, we need you to have a quiet background so we don't get any feedback. All right. So that is the departure reminder list. All right, so let me um, go back to the front uh, page. And the next thing I'm going to go to is our, our Ghana visa, but I have it on a different page, so I'll just click on that. But these are the schedules, family. I mean, the last two uh, journeys that I put up, um, and you know, all of these uh, journeys are literally ready. Uh, so right now we're building a strong group for our Ghana uh, May uh, 24 journey. So still got time, still got space on that journey. And even Senegal and Gambia, if anybody else wants to join in, um, as long as they have their visa ready or ready to do their visa, because it doesn't take long, we can just get those things done. But uh, the list of the uh, other journeys are Rwanda, Roots and Culture Journey, July 20th to the 30th. So that is a nice, um, a nice. You know, all of these are nice Roots and Culture itinerary. Uh, put a lot of work into this, creating the best flow 
and then connecting with the people that we have on the ground to work with, uh, make sure everything that flows is how we need to move around the country. Uh, uh, Tanzania, this will be the fourth uh, journey that we're doing in Tanzania. And as it goes along, we just touch up a few things and you know, keep uh, that strong energy uh, in paradise. South Africa, uh, we're just, just uh, restarting back our South Africa schedule. So this was an ideal time. Uh, the weather should be uh, nice around this time. So that's December 24th to January 4th. Then we're going to set off the year at the beginning of the year. And I've been talking to a lot of people about uh, the Liberia Reconnection Investment Tour as we're looking for another country to build an energy of, uh, to connect people to investment. So this was the country that we had the best connection in. And it's a historical country uh, from 1822, the uh, Pan-African Settlement of uh, Africans in the diaspora. Uh, move, moving from America and making their way over to what is known as Liberia and setting up the uh, constitution and setting up uh, things in place for those of us you know, to, to have a country uh, where we can just have a smooth connection. So we're going to just revisit that energy in a modern day time and um, you know, build from there. Uh, so that's uh, looking forward to that journey uh, almost a year from now. Uh, then we're going to set off our uh, next uh, Ghana journey, and this is for the summer, uh, this July 11th to the 23rd. So it's an ideal time where a lot of people who haven't been able to travel with us uh, are gonna have a, a more flexible schedule and time. And then the last one I have is uh, taking it back to my 20th anniversary of traveling, which was uh, 2004. And uh, Egypt was my second journey, um, which is uh, April 2004. And then Senegal was the first, which is March of uh, 2004. So this Egypt connection right here is the 20th uh, anniversary of our, our now Valley Civilization uh, documentary. I know, so all of those footage are old and you know, in modern day time, just wanna you know, basically record a lot of uh, information. Uh, and this, you know, you know, with the modern day technology of 4K and this, you know, this nice, hot, hot, beautiful, uh, bright uh, pictures of the pyramids, that whole historical um, uh, journey. So all of the information is set and organized. And um, as usual, we have, uh, we have a, a wonderful connection uh, with as a matter of fact, one of our sisters that have traveled with us to Ghana and then expand our business to um, you know, basically to Egypt and live there and go back and forth. And um, so, you know, we've been talking over, over a period of time and I told her this, I need a time frame and a slot to this put it in and uh, get it set up. And this is just a perfect time. And so that journey is set and it's a nice, you know, nice flow of our itinerary. And let me just go to a quick uh, overview. Right, so this is a quick overview. Most of this, uh, most of what we set up on this is a little different from the rest of them. It's just, everything is just literally just included. Uh, so that's what we set up and it's this, it's five-star um, Egyptian-owned hotel. So it's a nice little setup, nice luxury cruise on the Nile. Um, and you know, we're gonna make it over to the Red Sea and a nice uh, re resort uh, where they have a, you know, a water park. So um, that's uh, something uh, uh, different and unique. And then we're gonna uh, connect into all of the uh, historical aspect of uh, Egypt. I remember that museum, I'll never forget, man. That was the first site we went to almost 20 years ago, but all of the popular um, historical sites, because uh, we're taking the journey down, you know, from uh, Cairo to, to Luxor, then we're gonna do Aswan Abu Simbo. So it's lined up like that as far as the Nile Valley, but the way the flow of the itinerary works is gonna be a little bit uh, different. Also got some you know, fun excitement, uh, ATV uh, Desert Safari, uh, along with all of the uh, historical parts of uh, Cairo. So Giza Pyramid and uh, the Great Sphinx itself, and all 
All right, so uh, the luxury on now cruise is actually in Aswan. So we basically will just uh, fly from Cairo to Aswan and Abu Simbel, and then uh, take a drive back from Abu Simbel, and so you can see the you know so you can get a, a roadside view and back to um, Aswan. And then uh, these are just a list of all the things that we're going to be doing. Uh, so uh, from ferry boat to uh, Nubian Museum to Abba Simba, Abba Simba tour itself, which is this, this picture right here. You see how small the people are. So that's um, one of the parts I didn't get to go to and we have it on there. Uh, when we do the Nile Valley cruise, we're gonna sail up to Edfu and Kaombo and uh, we're gonna see some unique temples. And um, more of this would all come back to life as I just you know, even go back and look through my documentary, but as I'm going through and reviewing this and putting it together. This bring back great memories. Uh, so that now cruise will take us from Aswan all the way back up to Luxor. And over there, that's got a whole lot of um, valleys of um, the Valley of Tombs, nobles, workers, uh, city tour. Um, so that's a nice uh, historical time. So once we get there, you know, we have two back-to-back -back, uh, days of tour. Um, another um, one of these nice uh, hotels, so you just have your nice uh, luxury set up. And then uh, once we finish there, we're just going to make our way over to the Red Sea area to Urgada, and that's where this uh, water park and these um, resort energy and tropical energy is. So you just have a few days to relax, and, and we also have a few different additional, you know, additional excitement. So. Uh, me and my good sister, you know, working on this and just looking to take it to another level. So it's a ways away from here. But the good thing is we have, uh, you know, we have the overview, the itinerary, uh, the package in place. And we're just looking just to push out the information. All right. So let me switch over to, to the uh, Ghana uh, visa. So everyone that's traveling us to Ghana. Uh, sent you a Ghana visa email. And just like I mentioned about uh, all other countries, this, the email is sent to you. And that's, um, there's a sample application or a sample um, information of mine. And then uh, there's the uh, requirements uh, there also. And then inside the email, there's you know, reminders and things like that of clarity and any, any contact person that you need is there. So the goal is once you receive the email, you just take your time, read it, read through it or print it out and then just follow the direction to start the process. In this case, once you click on the link, uh, Ghana Embassy uh, DC.org, you're gonna go up to uh, Visa and Passports. And you can just click on Visa Application. All right, so let me actually go back to the email. So hopefully everybody can see the email. This is the email that was sent. Uh, so those are the attachments, uh, sample application instructions and image of your Ghana visa. So let me know that your Ghana visa is actually inside your passport when you get it back. And um, just, so just showing you what it looked like. Uh, that way, when you get it back, you're not wondering where your visa is, it's in your passport. So these are the, the, the basic information that I have in the email. Uh, it talks about the uh, single entry, this, Basically tell everyone to start your visa process, single entry two months ahead of time, multiple entry three months ahead of time. And also in the email, just putting our contacts uh, information there. So uh, they ask all these things, uh, GPS uh, <laughs> location to uh, email address, phone numbers, um, address, the person's name, the, the organization they represent. So these are our two uh, hosts right here. And that's, you know, you'll get to the point of application where you just need to copy these things. So the good thing about it is this um, sample application of, is, you know, it has all of the exact steps from the first page to the last page. And I purposely filled out every single box. That way um, you won't have any trouble filling out every box because you know, all of the boxes are usually just uh, required, right? So let me switch back over to passport and visa application. So click on visa application and then um, your language and where you're processing your visa uh, from your country of residence. 
So I click on continue. It's gonna give you this um their their, their long uh, Ghana guidelines of entry requirements. So basically what it tells you to the sum it up is uh if you have a COVID vaccination card, uh, you don't have to worry about nothing. But if you don't, then you have to take a um, a COVID-19 uh, uh, rapid test on their side that you have to pay $150 for. And then you also have to take one two days before you travel. Uh, you, have to have, you have to have a negative result two days before you travel. So that's kind of what they're saying to you in this long overdrawn information. But definitely recommend everybody still read it. And some uh, more information on uh, visa as far as this, um, if you need to be clear about any information, whether it's fees, payment methods, return policy, or just any of those information, just take your time, click through and read through uh, the information. Then once you're clear, you just read the checkoff box. And so that's what I'm saying, make sure you're just clear about what you're reading before you uh, agree to these uh, terms. Then now uh, you proceed uh, to visa application. All right. So if um, if you know, so you have a few different options here. Uh, so the option that uh, we're using since we're individuals uh, is visa individual application. So here you have one to five steps. So you may have another step pop up once you finish. But the main thing is you're gonna see a reference number once you finish this page on the top right. And let me go back and see, show you. So retrieve individual visa application. So that's the way you're gonna retrieve it is with the application reference number that you'll see once you finish page uh, one. And then, you know, you just, your, your details that you, you know already, and then it will retrieve your application. So what I'm saying to you is don't let this thing frustrate you in this, um, and just, cause it's, 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 I don't know if they purposely set it up like that, but it's painful. I was able to go through it within 30 minutes to hour, but it's simple for myself because it's just, I have all the information I need in front of me and I'm typing it up and I'm uploading the documents and I'm going through it just to verify everything is simple and works. And this, you know, I was helping a few people this week. So I was just going through it because it was like a long week with them going through the application and just don't want anyone else to go through what they went through where it was just like painful every day, but I helped them through it. Um, and the process that I you know, create on the email that I was sent, uh, it allows, you know, it does make everything a lot uh, simpler, but if you're just real good with this, using your, you know, using your, you have a fast computer, using your computer and just doing these things and just what you do um, on a regular basis, it's a lot easier. But if not, I would just say, take your time, do one or two page at a time, and then you can always go back in. Uh, once you complete a page, and go to the next page and automatically save the information. Uh, so back to the individual application. Uh, so these are all of your basic information that uh, you would know. Uh, so the only thing at this point that you'd need, uh, for those who have your ticket uh, for, um, for Ghana, then just you know, print out a copy of your ticket because uh, you're gonna need to upload it, not print it out, but download a copy of your ticket uh, because you're gonna need to upload a PDF copy on the end of this uh, application. And then uh, I would need to send you a, a, a invitation letter and then one of my host passports. So that's an email I can put together for you. That's email I'll have ready for you. Once you're ready and you tell me that you're ready to start your visa, uh, anything that I need to get on my side, I usually send it in together in that one email. So these, as you can see, these are all your personal information on here. And then when you finish uh, next and just go from the next page to the next page. So as you go to the other page, if you just not, you know, if you just, if it feels like it's confusing, remember you can always go back to my sample application. I literally typed up every single page and I download a cup and I'm, I download all, all of the pages separate and I just merge them together as a PDF all together. So it's a long, you know, it's a long PDF, but it shows you page by page of everything that I put in. And if nothing else, just copy what I put in. Uh, outside of your personal information, you can just copy everything else I put in. And, and then the most important thing, uh, once you get to the, the uh, last page of application and 
uh, whatever it's actually to upload and you have upload, um, it actually upload a COVID-19 test. And that's, I don't, I have no idea why they actually do that. But if you don't have one, you don't have one, just leave the box on check and then upload everything else. Unless, and those of us, most of us shouldn't have a residency. So you leave that box at the bottom check also. But it's gonna ask you to upload um, a scanned copy of your passport style photo, a scanned copy of your, your passport page, both the face and the uh, data page with all your information. Uh, it's gonna also actually upload a copy of your flight itinerary. Uh, so uh, those are all the things that you have. And then again, the only thing that uh, you should need from me would be the host passport and the um, invitation letter, which uh, it's a simple thing for me to, to get for you. Uh, but uh, whenever I have a lot of people traveling, I just tell them as soon as you need it, just send me an email or send me a message and you'll get it uh, the same day um, or you know the next day or just as soon as possible. Um, within an hour or so, depends on what's going on. But uh, make sure that uh, you know you just reach out to me uh, before you start the application, so I can get that to you. Because all these things you're gonna need. So as you're doing this process, you just do your best to just have everything set. And remember, you can always uh, just use your reference number to uh, to go back in, and they will continue your application. And once you finish that process, it's gonna give you an option to uh, pay for your visa fee, which is a hundred dollars for the multiple entry, which is what I recommend, or sixty for the single entry. If you just want to do a one and done situation, which is all good, uh, don't want you to pay for anything more than you need. Uh, and then, as far as the as far as the uh, postal fees, you can pay for your postal fees, or you could do like I mentioned in the the, uh, the Gambia uh, uh, visa process. You can pay for a prepaid return envelope with your return address and the uh, two address from the uh, embassy, and put it in a package that you're going to send out to uh, the Ghana embassy or consulate. And then they'll um, you know, they'll just use that to send that back. Or if you pay for, uh, you know, you pay for return envelope to their system, make sure you print out the receipt and print out the details of what you need to put in the package. Uh, so uh, make sure you just everyone just you know, take your time and review the information at the end uh, to where you're clear on it. And then then after that, uh, when you print out everything that's required and follow the directions, send it in. And it takes about anywhere from ten to fourteen days for you to get it back. So I definitely recommend everyone do this process. Um, you know, we're looking at the three month mark now. So start that process, everyone now, do your multiple entry. And then for those who want to do the single entry, you can start that uh, next month around the same time. And right, so family, let me close on that and get back to our website, africafortafricans.org. Uh, so let me uh, scroll down some more. And uh, while you're on our website, uh, let me actually get back to the homepage. Right, and scrolling past um, here, it just, uh, this usually have the uh, conference information. So next conference call I've set for is March 19th, and uh, the usual link that's uh, posted in the WhatsApp page. And uh, this is just a quick uh, setup, uh, especially if someone's trying to send me a message on WhatsApp, or you can just click on this link and it'll send a message. But these are our online profiles. Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, and then all of our, uh, you know, Facebook pages for our, our tours, which I just basically just post this information and information. It's just social pages just to um, to get our information out and to just get anyone who just want to join to just have access to whatever updates that we post, uh, group conference and highlights of uh, what we do when we're on tour. And our Black South Pan-African community is same thing. Uh, so it's our world of tours and investment. And then for anyone who have not seen this, the, the flow, this is from our 2022 all the way back to 2006 uh, journey. So that's over 30 different uh, journeys to uh, a whole lot of different countries. I wanna say, uh, only country I've been to that we don't have a journey to until now, uh, Egypt is not on there, so we don't have a group there, and we don't have a group for uh, Kenya. Those are all the two countries I have to always remember. Uh, so that is uh, what we have set on a journey of a lifetime family. So 
Uh, goal is to create some wonderful colors uh, shirts like we did on our last two journeys and just take some beautiful pictures. So just hopefully everybody's always ready to smile and just uh, be joyful and ready to take these pictures. Hopefully we catch you in a good energy where you're, you know, you're just very excited and you're ready. Um, and let's just uh, make some great highlights. So some of our previous energies. Let me flip over to uh, YouTube. And so our YouTube page is set. So for on this multiple playlists, uh, well, the last set of videos are up here. So these are highlights. I'll be posting a bunch of videos between Tanzania and Ghana. So uh, this is the playlist for both of them. And as we post more videos, this, this, this highlight videos are showing you we are what we're doing and show you our energy of us moving around and just uh, using that also to, to build our energy into the, you know, the search engine for the future energy of people who want to come. Uh, we have our Liberia journey. I've been interviewing um, you know, more and more people from Liberia and we're building a nice energy to this, do a strong connection there in Liberia for next year. And uh, this is the classic uh, Ghana May, June 2022 journey. Just a whole lot of videos. Some years, you know, you're just on fire and you're just excited and you just, you have, you know, you just record a lot. And some years, you know, you just record as best as you can based on how busy and how things are. So nevertheless, these are all of our world of highlights. Um, and uh, even my uh, 2004 now Valley Journey is on here as we scroll down. It's uh, somewhere on one of these playlists. There it goes. These are some of the older playlists here for other countries. Uh, that's Ethiopia, Brazil, South Africa, and then uh, Egypt, uh, 2004. So I converted the um, BHS video uh, uh, tape to DVD and then, uh, then eventually upload to YouTube. So it is a long documentary broken up into a few different segments, very interested. Uh, it's hard for me to watch it. It's kind of like, it's so scary. I see myself, myself 20 years ago, but uh, that is uh, me and that's how we started this journey from just being there in Senegal and then, then being there in uh, Egypt and rolling with Dr. Ronald Karashidi. And yeah, so here we are. So now we feel very comfortable you know, for us to, um, you know, do those journeys. So, and, you know, with our flow, it's a mix of, you know, beyond us, his history and roots and culture, we take it to paradise and we just enjoy a lot of social time. And, you know, you know we like to just make it out on the boats and just enjoy, you know, enjoy life. So it's a little different from some other people, Egypt journey, but, you know, that's what we do, uh, you know, as far as Africa for Africans on a journey of a lifetime, we just take you, you know, to you know, paradise and beyond. All right, um, the, the many wonderful people, thank you for joining the call. And that was just a quick overview and um, I'd love to talk about more countries and everything, but as time could come along or get there, we'll talk about uh, all the uh, countries and, and more into it um, and things like that. But uh, just wanted to uh, just go to as much as we can and definitely wanted to make sure you at least uh, cover those visas and uh, make sure everybody is prepared and ready so I want to open things up, see if anyone has any questions. So uh, you can unmute yourself, uh, introduce yourself, uh, give your name, where you're calling from, what journey you're traveling on, and your question. And uh, you know everything is open for dialogue. And uh, I'll, I'm available to stay as long as people have questions. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, This is Deborah. Greetings. Greetings. I just want to say thank you for um, your coverage this evening. It's very helpful and informative, and I really appreciate it. And I'm so looking forward to the uh, the journey of a lifetime. All right, excellent. Looking forward to meeting you and looking forward to us to connect. So the time will be here shortly. So hopefully you're ready. Looking forward to Senegal and Gambia. Excellent, Tammy. Another journey of a lifetime. Thank you. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, you're welcome.
All right, so family, the line is open. You can just uh, roll the questions and um, or anything anyone want to talk about. We'll just get into the dialogue. Um, that way I don't have to be in just going over information. Any one of us can just click on and review. All right, while someone is looking for a question, let me just make sure it's nothing I miss. All right, Teresa, if you're trying to talk, you have to unmute yourself. Peace and blessings. Uh, greetings. Uh. Greetings. Hello, family. I'm Teresa. I'm traveling to the Gambia and Senegal next month, March. Okay, Brother Bumani, question. The currency exchange, is there somebody on ground that we're going to exchange cash? So do we need to bring large bills? What's the story with that? Absolutely, bring large bills. That's one question. Let me give you all the questions one time. Right. Uh, school supplies, do we have schools in both countries or one country? Are we bringing just school supplies or do you want children's clothing as well? Those are my basic two questions. Oh, perfect. Um, we're going to two schools, one in Senegal, one in Gambia. And um, you know, whatever school supplies you bring is all good, whether it's uh, clothes or uh, regular school supplies, uh, anything from your heart or whether it's just uh, financial donations. And um, as far as the money situation, we'll take it to a Forex Bureau um, for the most part. Uh, and beyond that, usually we may have someone that we can physically meet us at the hotel or the, the people at the hotel just do our exchange for us. So those are the ways that we have it set up for uh, this uh, Senegal and Gambia sequence. Okay, so what's the story with large bills, the denominations? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, the, the bigger the bills, the better the exchange rate. So 50s and 100s is what I've uh, illustrated in our preparation list. Highly recommend this to bring bigger bills. And it's easier to move around with anyway. And you get the best exchange rate. So far, I've seen the same thing in all countries or most countries that that's the situation. Especially, I know that for sure, at least in Ghana and Tanzania, that you have to have big bills to get the best exchange rate. So family, I uh, you can uh, say, you know, save your 20s and you can just use them back in the U.S. The 20s and the 10s and the 5s and don't bring any 1s. Save those Excellent. for someplace else here that they use 1s. Thank you. Absolutely. So you're ready for another journey of a lifetime? Uh, Absolutely. That, that incredible historic South Africa journey, which looking forward to this. Hopefully we get a nice energy for that in December. Yes, you're going back in December. Yes, it will be nice for those that are traveling. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's not too busy. So. Okay, and you're gonna let us know what's the story with COVID-19? Uh, repeat on. Requirements. Huh? Right now, the COVID-19 situation in either country, do we need to be concerned? Uh, about no, getting shots, this, that, do we know? Uh, no COVID-19 uh, tests, uh, no vaccination requirements uh, were clear. And uh, what I would do is we'll have a final conversation um, about four weeks before we travel all together when we do our introduction of three weeks. And we'll go through those things uh, for verbatim based on the entry requirement that we're going to go through. Usually the travel, their travel advisory, you just, you know, you get the latest version and then you go, we go through it before we all travel. So nothing should pop up, but if it does, it'll be on that one. Excellent. Okay. All righty. That's it for now. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so everything looks good on your ticket. You're ready. You're ready. Yeah, I that. will see you in JFK. So you have no problem getting to uh, New York? You're going you're gonna to take a flight to Philadelphia? I am going directly to JFK. Right, cool. That's what the ticket said. Uh, yes, I'm talking about as far as you leaving your home and getting to New York. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in Delaware, two hours away. Oh, you said simple like that. <laughs> two hours away. 
You know, I'm always, some, somebody was uh, communicating with me. I was, telling, I was like, there's no, there's, no inter, there's no international airport there for me to book anybody a flight from Delaware. Um, and I was just telling them, and they were telling me about some airport. I was like, I was like, I've been in this business for a while, all along East Coast. That's well, actually, they did just open up Newcastle Airport again, but their flights are going to Florida. <laughs> so that work. Don't do me no good, man. Going <laughs> north, not south. <laughs> you know? So if you get a flight going out of Miami, then we're good to go. Okay. Because um, all Let these me know. Delta got sequenced. So, but I thank you for this you know, volunteering and making your way up there. Um, you know, you know, instead, I'll send you to Detroit or somewhere. All right. No problem. No all problem. Right, gotcha. All right. Excellent. So, Tammy, the line is open. Um, if you want to hear from anyone that's looking to travel to Senegal, Gambia, and Ghana, uh, we'll review visa, visa information, and I've gone over a few basic things over the last uh, few months. So just want to see if anybody have any questions, so want to see if anybody has anything they want to dialogue on. And if everything is clear, everything is clear, that's good. All right, Akuvi, I'm looking to unmute you. And... Let me see. All right, family, line is still open. Uh, Akubi, greetings, how are you? Are you excited? Are you ready for the journey of a lifetime to Senegal and Gambia? Of course. <laughs> did, did you get your first class upgrade? Huh? Oh no, not yet. I'm sure when they see you, they don't, they're going to give you an automatic upgrade. <laughs> huh? I may have to use I may have to use a little bit of French to get that. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> um. So the best thing I would recommend, Akubi, um, once you log into your Delta ticket, uh, go down to the bottom and click on uh, upgrade. Um, so, um, I don't know your fly, fly, uh, um, SkyMall status, uh, but they have an upgrade option, and it's a complimentary upgrade option in the bottom right. So, it depends on your status. Well, you complimentary. Know. Oh, complimentary? Okay. No, no, not, <laughs> they're not saying that they're going to give it to you. They're just saying that in a situation where they just have a bunch of seats available, they will upgrade some people based on the fact of their, their, their um, SkyMall status. So, I don't know your SkyMall status, but... Uh, it's recommended if you see that it's something that you know that people made us miss. But um, you know, I I, re I saw that um, recently and I just clicked on it, and so you know maybe we all see each other up front. Yeah, well, you know, I got a little tactics too. The cane in the wheelchair. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> perfect. So okay, perfect. Um, but now, what's your flat? What's your sky mile status? It's over hundred thousand. No, I mean, um, is a silver medallion one of those gold? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, gold. Okay, perfect. That's what I'm saying to you. Just you know, go, make sure you do, you do that. I'm giving you giving you a professional reminder. Um, um, and um, it's looking good in the flights. I mean, I don't know if the, they made it seem like the flight was going to be filled up, but it's not. I can see why they don't fly there every day now. Okay. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to decide because don't forget, I have Ghana also. Yeah, you can um, you can and do the same thing for your Ghana flight, and uh, yeah, I'm saying I'll, catch, like, I'll catch you all. Yeah, I'll catch you all there because you know I'll be there a longer period of time. Yeah, and let's do it ahead of time. Um, you know, just. But I did see that your you had your uh, economy comfort, so, you know, you you can just. Put I have up. all tickets. Both tickets paid for. I'm looking at them. <laughs> I did it months ago. So what it's gonna offer you is this. I would just say first class, um, complimentary upgrade option. So. And then they'll just take the, they'll just use the list of whoever they have on the list. And then based on seniority, they'll just select the people and that's what they'll give. But that's something that they're offering based on if you are gold, medal, um, and higher. But nevertheless, our family, this is just okay. us sharing information on your Delta Airlines ticket since the sequence that we have. No problem. As long as they don't bother, as long as they don't bother my mouth. As long as they don't bother the mouths I already got, fine, no problem. I'll no, check on it. Yeah, you may have to confirm that with them, but it shouldn't be uh, one of those things. I'll be checking with it tomorrow. <laughs> All 
All right, so that is perfect. On both flights. Yeah, so and then everybody that's uh, clear with us for um, you know, for Ghana with their tickets, the same thing. Uh, we're just trying to get uh, all these things done quick, fast, and then go through them, and then we just go to the next set of things after that. Uh, so, so both journeys, uh, we have enough people for a Toyota Costa. So uh, people always ask me about a big bus, like a big red bus. I was like, those are the good days. We don't have 30 or 40 people. So what we do is do the 15 to 20 or 12 to 20 that we have, a Toyota Costa. And we just get everybody around nice and smooth. And we just make the best of the uh, journey and things like that. But that's what we're working with uh, since this post-COVID uh, era. Um, so for these journeys, I, the I don't like get. the big bus. Uh, well, we don't have much. Yeah, but, well, the the ones that we have now. Yeah, the last time that happened, you know, is because of your 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 compadre Duncan uh, don't know how to follow directions. <laughs> uh, so that's why he's currently un he's currently un unemployed. But um, that's it's another story. But I guess uh, the Toyota <laughs> Costa. Um, I haven't. I don't know if I've shown it much on the last tour, but uh, that's what we have. It's um, and it's the same thing we've been using in Tanzania. So. Just trying to let people know that's the bus that we're using. Uh, if anybody wants to get a big bus, if you help me get some more people, we get a nice luxury uh, coastliner and make it around, around the country. But uh, the buses mm -hmm. are always based on those numbers. And um, yeah. Akubi, anything I need to go over, anything I miss? <laughs> I don't think so. You set it up. <laughs> You've already said it. Yes, so. Here's some of the questions from the others, they're very quiet. What happened? They're asleep? <laughs> Now just listen. It. Uh, oh, they listen. Mm. Yeah, so well, I'm gonna listen too. Let me see <laughs> any questions. Uh, and if anybody has any questions, you want to post it. You can post on the chat. I just check. Uh, there's no question on the chat. Uh, so these are just uh, again, just, you know, just want to let everyone know that uh, we're making ourselves available for questions like this. But we will have a private session, at least one, you know, uh, which is usually at the three week mark before we travel. And it just be all of us who are traveling. So what we have, and that's the best we can do. Other than that, you can call me, communicate with me, and we can just talk about anything, go through anything. Uh, so hopefully everybody's ready for these next two journeys, because next two journeys are cleared. Other journeys, uh, anyone interested, would have to just connect with us, and then we can build that journey. And then, you know, then we usually just work them two at a time. It's like we just finished sending. Um, uh, Tanzania and uh, and Ghana. So that was that last back to back, and now we're here again for another one. And um, I'm going to be working to put out the rest of the highlights before we travel to Senegal, and Gambia, and to Ghana. Uh, what we have for um, our last two journeys. So for those who are on Facebook, uh, Instagram, things like that, um, just trying to put up information for anyone to share and let people know that uh, you know. This is what we do. And uh, you want to take a journey to the motherland, why not go with the best? We have eight countries in the next uh, two years um, across uh, right now. Um, eight schedules, eight countries. And uh, it's open for those of us uh, who are ready to take that journey. So I'm available. If anyone wants to share any information or share anything to any of their friends or associates, um, and, uh, and as usual, Website has all of the information you need, nice music, nice slideshow, and just want everyone to just go there, click, and if you're on your phone, click, load fast, and all the information is there and can be shared. The family, that's all I have for tonight. Um, just appreciate everyone joining us, and we'll get uh, ready for the next uh, conference call before our journey for Senegal and Gambia, and this one will be March uh, 19th, so roughly four weeks from today and uh, some more information. And then for those who are traveling to Ghana, uh, we have a lot more things in place. And by then, um, hopefully we have some more people and we just close out their tickets also. And then we just have our group ready. And then we can just start introducing some of those other journeys that we have coming up. And just everybody prepared. So let I me mean, once again, uh, this is, Bomani uh, Tayemba from Africa for the Africans. Uh, thanks to you for everyone for joining us. And I will connect back with you on, on our next uh, conference call or if you like to join us on any of our live calls that we may have throughout the month, just join us and we can just 
conversate dialogue and um, let's keep a connection energy going. All right, so everyone, uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mamani. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. Talk with you soon. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, good night. <laughs> good night.